Hey folks, my name is Max Wolf. I'm a senior backend engineer on the product analytics team. And I want to talk about what we're doing next with funnel analysis and how we're going to start building it. So in the previous video I recorded just before Christmas, um, which I'll link in the description, I uh, talked about how we can set up active record objects to define funnels and steps in those funnels. Uh, and then Sam, our PM, quite rightly pointed out that actually the best way to look at this would be similar to the way we're going to do dashboards, which is to define them in YAML uh, and make sure that they are subject to code review or any other checks or compliance requirements um, that, that any other project within uh, that organization would require. So pivoted slightly now. So instead of using active record and building up uh, new database tables, now we're going to be using YAML files instead. Uh, so I'll share my screen and let's work through that. So within the .gitlab sort of meta project within a uh, meta folder within our project. And we've got our product analytics and then dashboards, uh, as we've seen from previous demos. I've created a new uh, directory called funnels, uh, which will store all of our funnels for that project. Uh, so it's going to look very similar to the JSON that we pass into Cube essentially. So name, how long, um, or the maximum amount of time is between these steps that we can and that we count as a conversion. And then a definition of those steps. Um, each step should have a name, just some sort of unique identifier, have a target, so the thing that that step requires. So in the case of a page view, that page should be loaded. Uh, we're only targeting page views right now, but we've designed this in such a way that means that it can be expanded later. So for this completed purchase funnel to be converted within 3,600 seconds, we should visit page one.html and we should visit page two.html. Uh, and if we look, oh, sorry, wrong way to share my whole desktop, not just that. Desktop one. There we go. Um, so in the API now, similar to before, uh, for each of the YAML files, we load a different um, funnel. Uh, and these two are almost identical, except in my test data, this one returns uh, converted. Uh, funnels and this one returns not. Um, from there as well, nothing's changed from the uh, the way we define funnels. We're still using the dynamic funnel uh, schema that we looked at in the previous video. This should now allow um, us to define as many funnels in a project as we like. If there's code owner rules, uh, compliance pipelines, CI steps that have to be completed. Uh, then they'll obviously all take effect as normal. Um, and we've done away with all the database stuff. Uh, still hitting the same problem I was hitting just before the Christmas break, which was that funnels with more than two steps don't currently work. That appears to be an issue with uh, the SQL query itself rather than anything more fundamental. So that's what I'm working on today. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.